I don't even know if these are called. Okay. What's up my ponyos? Andy with Andy Vlogs doing another vlog here where we are doing a time lapse of how to build this IKEA bed. Today's bed that we are going to be building is the twin bunk bed from Svarta IKEA. I think I said that right. I don't speak Swedish. So with that being said, if you guys like this content, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you want to see more. I did this about a year ago with another bunk bed that you can check out right here at the top of the screen in the cards. Uh, otherwise, enjoy the music and this uh, this how to speed speed up time lapse of building this bed. So once you've cut the tops of all of your boxes, what I like to do is I like to kind of arrange it by the box, take everything out of the plastic and line everything up systematically with the instructions. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. Get rid of the cardboard, get rid of the waste, and then start building. With these IKEA builds, the hardware and tools that you need is always provided. In the instruction manual, it shows you all of the piece lists as well as the tools that they, the hardware they give you to put together. You don't really need a tool set, but if you want, you can have, have one. I got this from Ikea as well, Fixia. It comes with a hammer, pliers, wrench, adjustable head wrench, screwdriver with different heads. This is not a paid promotion. First you want to connect these two pieces together, there's 19 of them. Let's do it. It's been pretty difficult to do it by myself, but with the help of my wife, I was able to get the first part started, and the rest is kind of a cinch. First thing you need to do is get the sides up and connect the back piece to the sides. There are three screws that go on each corner. Make sure that you have the big circle at the top and the bottom circle at the bottom. That's very important. Next, go ahead and put the front piece on. You'll notice that there is a gap on the piece. It doesn't have a second side. You can choose either the left or the right side for the opening where the stair will be. I chose left because I'm left-handed. Finally, do the bottom bunk by getting the, the rails large circle side up. Each base will require two screws. That's a total of eight screws in all. You're gonna need someone to help you hold this up as you screw it in. I just use my long legs to prop it up as I screwed in the sides on the edges. It's pretty straightforward. You just use that the Allen wrench tool that they give you and tighten it until you can't spin it any further. Now finally, this is what the piece looks like. This is the basic structure. All that we have left is the stairs, some top pieces over here, and some other screws that'll go in. It's very important to note when you're putting this base on in the front, you need to make sure and match these two holes with the side that you're having the ladder on, or else you're not gonna be able to connect the ladder. Now 
This is the most tricky part. This requires some careful attention. You first need this little screw to go in the bottom. Then you need a combination of the following. This fits in this hollow little thing and then fastens together with this third screw. Finally, make sure this support beam is facing down, not like that. Well there it is, all complete, every screw used, every piece of tape put in, and it doesn't look bad. Make sure that you focus on a few things like getting the larger hole on top and the smaller hole on bottom, especially on the baseboards. Also making sure on the making sure on the bedding part that you give yourself about a quarter of an inch from each wall. That way you don't get creaking when you're sleeping. Now if you like this comment guys, hit that like button. I also have a tutorial right up here, wherever the card is, uh, of how to do the third piece which slides under as a bed for a third child if you have it. Check that out. Thanks so much for watching. Andy with Andy Vlogs, signing out. Woo!